The 2022 FIFA World Cup is underway, and the United States is back in soccer's most beloved spectacle after shockingly missing out on qualifying for the 2018 tournament. While this next golden generation of American soccer players should be focusing on pursuing World Cup glory, they've chosen to allocate some of their focus on promoting, you guessed it, useless social justice causes. The 2022 World Cup is being held in Qatar, a country that has come under fire from the rest of the world for its quote-unquote restrictive social rules. The Muslim nation prevents people from eating pork, drinking in public, or practicing homosexuality, which has predictably caused outrage in the progressive global soccer community. In response to this, the United States has decided that at every facility it owns or manages, the team's traditional Stars and Stripes logo will be accompanied by a crest that has the LGBT rainbow as its color scheme. I wish I were kidding. Head coach Greg Berhalter said that his team's gesture was necessary given that his team wants to spew woke values all over the world. I mean, you know, it's, it's not just stateside that we want to bring attention to social issues. It's also um, abroad. And, you know, we recognize that Qatar has made strides and there has been a ton of progress, but there's still some, some work to do. While it is highly unsurprising that the U.S. would pull a stunt like this, given that they have a history of ardently supporting anything woke, it's interesting that they aren't promoting eating pork or drinking a beer, but they feel the need to push the LGBT agenda. There's nothing wrong with a nation not valuing homosexuality. While its execution of how it will adhere to these beliefs can be up for debate, the U.S. has long known that they'd be going to a country that doesn't see the world the same way they do. What they should have done was nothing. Just show up at the tournament without trying to cause a stir and play some soccer. But they just couldn't help themselves.